Hello everyone and welcome to an introduction to the Crew Vessel Pack for Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1 and above with Realism Overhaul and Textures Unlimited. It could work without Realism Overhaul, but I am not testing it with that, with stock, so keep that in mind. And there are two basic components to the Crew Vessel Pack. There are going to be station parts and crew vehicles. And the first crew vehicle that I'm introducing into the pack is the Lynx spacecraft, uh, famous spacecraft in my space programs. And there are two variants of it right now. There's the three-person variant and the four-person variant. And the core of it is just supposed to be a lander can-ish kind of thing. And so it's fairly lightweight, uh, 2.6 tons, and that's with supplies. And so yeah, it supplies for about two weeks. And But it can be converted from a lander can, which is lightweight, into an orbital vehicle using heat tiles like this and a heat shield. Oops, uh, actually this three-person one has a smaller shell, like so, so it can fit a four-meter vehicle and a smaller heat shield and an aero cap. And let me just make sure I had a little bit of problem with the aero caps colliders before, but so below the aero cap you would put the parachutes. Uh, you'll have to be careful with it. The colliders should be okay, I hope. Uh, let's test that out. Well, it'll release properly when you're going down, I think. Uh, yeah. It, it didn't explode is the main point, so. Alright. Okay, now, I've got a pass-through version of this, but this is not the pass-through version. This is a normal style pod for Kerbal, and as such, there is a hatch in the back, but only if you don't have the shell on. So the hatch is over here. I think uh, let's keep the shell off and bring it out and pop a Kerbal out. But with the shell on, I've tried to make a hatch there, but it's not working out quite right now. And so I'll figure out what's going on with that. And maybe I'll be able to fix that, we'll see. But for now, uh, a Kerbal can come out of this on this side, not that side, because my presumption is you gotta be docked to something else on that side, so. And also, if you're going to have some sort of crew entry method, it would probably be easier to get in on this side. The internals are just the Mark 1-3 pod internals, because uh, if we're not gonna use the pass-through system, I would like to have raster prop monitor and all that stuff functional, and uh, I haven't configured that for my pods yet. I don't know how to do the ESET stuff or the rest prop monitor stuff yet and put them into the pods. That's something I will have to do in the future. But for now, we can just pee back on the Mark 1-3 pod for all that. So the full size is like this. So the three-person pod is a four-meter form factor. The four-person pod is a five-meter form factor and has its own uh, commensurate heat shields. Gotta put this, it says EVA capable, but um, that is because it used to be EVA capable. Right now it doesn't seem to be. So it has its own aero cap and uh, that's how it'll be. And all told, this version is uh, 6.5 tons. So uh, all the other accoutrement end up making it heavier than the lander can version. But, yep, it is an uh, interesting idea to have a cabin like this that can double as an uh, orbital spacecraft. But I doubt that... I'm sure there are obstacles in practice. <laughs> the other uh, side of things is station parts. And these are adapted uh, ISS station parts from a NASA model. So these are NASA's textures and everything. Uh, so this is the Quest airlock. And the Kerbals will come out from this point, as you might imagine. And, uh, sorry about the shadows, the problem is it has the equipment bays on the Quest airlock, and the NASA model had the shadows baked in to this texture, so. That is a bit of a flaw, but otherwise it's looking pretty good. And, uh, that's just Gold Station airlock, because for RP2000 purposes, we're gonna make it generic. So, so that I can use it in RP2000, you can see. In the next version of RP2000, it will be properly placed in the tech tree and priced, and so it'll all be functional. This is Destiny, but it is just generic station lab, and it will have the, I copied over the science lab stuff to it, so hopefully it'll work right. And it's got the science lab interior. 
And this is the Columbus module and it's Station Lab 2 and it also has the same interior. The, the other modules, uh, it, uh, the other modules have the um, Hitchhiker Can interior. So this is a station node. This is actually Harmony, but it could be Unity. You never know. But uh, yeah, so this is uh, a station node. Little bit of a gap because the hatches were actually a different part, a separate part originally. And you can see uh, because I'm not doing the pass through system with this, and this is just going to be normal, these don't have any way to get in and out. Only the Quest airlock has a way of egressing, uh, getting out of the thing. These do not. Okay, so they'll be docked up and you'll have to pass them, pass crew through normally. But yeah, there's no interior here since uh, we are not using the pass-through system. I deleted the interiors and that cuts the size of the mod by half, uh, into half. So uh, that is a plus side for not having the interiors in. And this is a uh, Columbus, not Columbus, um, Leonardo PMM. So that is your supply pod and it'll have much volume for supplies. Though actually there's plenty of volume in the other things too. But anyway, it is the proper dry mass and everything. And so those are the parts in this pack. So the Link spacecraft and these five modules for now. I'll add more stuff later, but this is the beginning of it and I hope you enjoy it. And uh, the next version of RP2000 will have these placed in the tech tree so you can use them in RP2000. And that was the purpose of introducing this pack. Uh, as far as the pass-through system versions of all this, because all of these were originally made with the interiors, and uh, I don't know if that's useful to anybody except for me. I think it's sort of a novelty act for me, so I don't know if uh, that's something people want or not. So my sense is that it's just my own peculiarity. But anyway, so these are usable with the normal way of doing things in Kerbal Space Program of transferring crew and all. So with that, Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.